The cosmic timeline is not difficult to understand. Before the formation of galaxies and stars was the formation of atoms, before that subatomic particles cooling and expanding from the initial moment of time, the Big Bang. Problem is, the cosmic timeline is wrong. The cosmic timeline problem was addressed in part by Dr. Fulvio Melia in our full plasma cosmology film. The problem was that if the universe began 13.8 billion years ago, as is said to have occurred, then we see some things in the early cosmos that present some challenges to that paradigm. The first is the formation of supermassive galaxies, which formed so quickly that at that point in the cosmos, the first stars are supposed to still be coming together and igniting. Yet they see numerous cosmic monsters with the maturity of ages in deep space. He also mentioned the quasars, the powerful cosmic jets. With such power, they must have incredible masses, which is also a problem at an age in the universe when stars a billionth of its size are supposed to still be forming. Now, in the wake of that film, we've seen the discovery of enormous early protoclusters and galaxy groups, again, at ages that challenge what was supposed to be going on way back then. But beyond the supermassive galaxies, the quasars, the galaxy clusters, and protoclusters, let's hear the knockout punch from our October 2019 short summary. Perhaps the most damning evidence comes from individual stars. They say that the earliest that stars could have formed was 200 million years after the Big Bang. But there are at least two stars we know of, not just in our own galaxy, but within a thousand light years, that are as old as the Big Bang or older. Methuselah's star is thought to be 14.5 billion years old, maybe older, and is only 200 light years away. The galaxy is 100,000 light years across, so what are the chances it's the only one that exists, the only one that exists in our galaxy? Now to summarize, the universe age is wrong. It's one thing to look deep into time and see strange things, but when you have a star 14.5 billion years old, traipsing around only 200 light years away, you have a major problem in the cosmic timeline. There are likely dozens of Methuselahs just in our galaxy alone. And as fun to think about as that is, the implications for the universe are virtually unexplored, ignored as a problem by cosmologists. Does this seem simple to understand? Yes, it is. But finding the answer might be a bit more difficult. Be safe, everyone.